right. So, the second question is a 45 year old woman presents to the rheumatology outpatient clinic with a 3 months history of stiff hands and as well as the wrist. She mentions that pain is particularly bad first thing in the morning. So, in the morning the pain is worse. On examination the wrist metacarpophalangeal joint and proximal interphalangeal joints are swollen and as well as warm. So, wrist is affected, MCP is affected, PIP is affected and these are swollen and as well as warm. Now, a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis is suspected. Which of the following investigation is the most specific for confirming the diagnosis? The options are X-rays, rheumatoid factor levels, anti-CCP, C-reactive protein, erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Now, in this question, the question asked is which is the most specific for the confirming the diagnosis. The answer to this particular question is anti-CCP, right. All the points, they are in favor of your rheumatoid arthritis and you are also under a suspicion of the rheumatoid arthritis. So, how can you confirm this particular rheumatoid arthritis? You have to confirm the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis by doing the anti-CCP levels, that is anti-cyclic citrullinated polypeptide. Now, why not the other options? Let me take up. So, first of all, this anti-CCP antibodies, they are most specific investigation for rheumatoid arthritis. Whereas, you take this x-rays. X-rays early in the disease course will demonstrate a soft tissue swelling, but are unlikely to show much else. Only soft tissue swelling will be there in early stages of rheumatoid arthritis. However, the x-rays of hands, feet and any other affected joint should be performed early in the disease to establish a baseline diagnosis. And what actually the x-rays of the hands and feet in rheumatoid arthritis will show? They will show the presence of periarticular osteopenia. Right? So, that is what is the x-ray picture in patients with the rheumatoid arthritis. But only point is in early stages of the disease, it will not show the manifestation in the x-ray. It is in the later stages. In the early stages, it will just show only a soft tissue swelling, which is non-specific for your rheumatoid arthritis. So, we cannot rely on x-rays to confirm the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. Then you take the second option that is rheumatoid factor. Rheumatoid factor is positive in approximately 70 percentage of patients with the rheumatoid arthritis. That means in almost like 30 percentage of patients, the RA factor is negative, right? In 30 percentage of patients, the RA factor is negative, okay? However, this rheumatoid factor, it is not specific only to rheumatoid arthritis. This rheumatoid factor, it can be raised in a number of other conditions. So, that is the reason why RA factor is not specific. RA factor should be tested for patients with suspected rheumatoid arthritis, but you cannot confirm the diagnosis. And once the RA factor is positive, anti-CCP antibodies can be subsequently sent if the RA factor is positive to confirm the diagnosis or even your RA factor is negative. Right? Even your RA factor is negative, still you have a suspicion of the rheumatoid arthritis, then also you can send this anti-CCP antibodies. Right? Why? Because in 30 percentage of individuals, the RA factor can be negative also. Right? So, it is important to note that anti-CCP antibodies are not presently a routine test for all patients with suspected rheumatoid arthritis. You do a RA factor then for confirmation you go ahead and do this anti-CCP. Do not first directly jump on to the anti-CCP, right. Coming on to the C-reactive protein, why not it is a specific for confirming the diagnosis. C-reactive protein is an acute phase reactant and this particular C-reactive protein, it is raised in any infectious and the inflammatory disease. 
right it is raised in many infectious and inflammatory diseases so that is the reason why c reactive protein we don't take right it is not the most specific test for rheumatoid arthritis however it is raised in rheumatoid arthritis and can be used to monitor the disease but not confirming the disease right you can monitor the disease and you can guide the treatment decisions also so this is useful for monitoring the disease and guiding the treatment options okay that is the use of your c reactive protein then you take the esr why we cannot use this as a specific test esr is raised in rheumatoid arthritis yes and it is also raised in many inflammatory pathologies so it is therefore not the correct answer so the correct answer is what your anti ccp anti cyclic citrullinated polypeptide levels